Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my week one preview and analysis. This video is for the game between the New Orleans Saints and the Atlanta Falcons. Um, these two yet another matchup of division rivals here in week one of the season. This game will be played at the Superdome in New Orleans. And you, know, you have the Saints coming into this game as the home team. Uh, certainly uh, what's thought to be a bounce back uh, year down in the bayou. Given all that the team went through last year uh, with the whole Bounty Gate scandal, having players suspended, most notably having their coach Sean Payton suspended for the season. You know, Sean Payton comes back intact and that offense comes back largely intact as well with Drew Brees obviously at the helm uh, with his plethora of receivers from Marcus Colson to tight end Jimmy Graham to Lance Moore. Rumors are they're going to re-sign Robert Meacham who was released by the Chargers as well. So I don't look for uh, point production to be a big problem this season for the Saints. Um, but when they play against better teams, uh, like the Falcons, for instance, I think it's important important for them to get some semblance of a running game uh, to be able to keep the other team's offense off the field. Because what I see being still being a problem for the Saints until I see otherwise is the play of that defense. You had a defense that was susceptible susceptible to big plays last season. They bring in a defensive coordinator who's changing the scheme. They're going to a 3-4 this year. And a guy whose defenses have been susceptible to big plays for years. Just ask any Dallas Cowboy fan uh, what the downside to their defense has been the last couple years. The difference being on this Saints team, you don't have the pass rush that you had uh, with the Cowboys. And I think that's a very big cause for concern for the Saints until, as a fan, you see this group produce. I think you're putting a tremendous amount of pressure on Keenan Lewis and Patrick Robinson at the cornerback spots. I thought the drafting of Kenny Vaccaro was good from a secondary point of view. Um, but other than that, I don't see where this defense improves at all. And I think there's a lot hinging on the fact that they take hold of this scheme and run with it. And uh, look, Rob Ryan will take this defense and make them better. Um, but, you know, coming from where they were, pretty much almost last in the league, uh, you know, if he gets them up to be a mid-tier defense, you know, that would be actually, for him, doing a pretty good job. But does that get them the help they need for them as a team to take it to the next level? So, again, I don't see them scoring points being a problem here um, against the Falcons. I see them scoring uh, between 21 and 28 points minimum. Uh, it's just a matter of can they stop the Falcons who, you know, the Falcons come into this season uh, getting richer on offense. Okay, they, they lose Michael Turner and they add Steven Jackson to go along with all those other weapons. Tony Gonzalez decides not to retire. He's back. You still have Julio Jones and Roddy White. Matt Ryan, obviously, I think poised for an MVP-type MVP season, uh, and, and he was even close to being at that level last year as well. I think the big X factor for this team is going to be Steven Jackson. Uh, I think from a leadership standpoint, obviously, he'll contribute there. But from an on-the-field standpoint, this is a guy who played nearly a decade with the Rams, and I don't want to say obscurity, but the Rams were pretty bad when he was there. And he was the lone bright spot on a lot of bad Rams teams. And this guy is still in shape. He's a dual threat back. He's an every down back. And is, he gives them the luxury of catching the ball out of the backfield, something they didn't have with Michael Turner. I think Jaquiz Rogers can be a good complement to Steven Jackson, but make no mistake, mistake about it. They brought Steven Jackson to be the man and to be the band right now. And I look for their offense to be even better um, because of the presence of him because they can do um, just what I was mentioning the Saints need to do. In a game where they are in a shootout, where they do get that you know, 17-point lead late, 10-point lead late. I think they have the ability now to grind out the clock, something I don't think the Saints can do. And I think that might be the difference in a game like this one where you have two offenses with so much firepower, two very good quarterbacks. And uh, until I see that Saints defense perform, I can't believe that they're going to beat a team at the level of the Falcons, a team that's been very consistent now the last three seasons uh, with the Mike Smith, Matt Ryan sort of combination here. I expect it to be no different uh, starting out this season. The Saints are actually installed as three-point favorites at home at the Superdome. The Superdome will be rocking, no doubt about it. I think the Falcons, though, with their experience, will be able to stem that tide at the beginning of the game. And I like this. I like the Falcons plus three on the road at the Superdome to get their season started off right, a season that, make no mistake about it, has Super Bowl aspirations. Remember, they lost you know, a home uh, championship game last year. Um, they return a lot of their core. I don't look for them to really be disenchanted by losing that home 
NFC Championship game. I think they use it as motivation, and it starts this Sunday. Falcons plus three on the road in New Orleans. Let me know what you guys think. Again, the big question for me is that New Orleans defense, I don't think they're ready for this kind of challenge yet to go against uh, the Falcons' uh, lethal passing attack to go along with Steven Jackson. I don't think they're going to be able to get what they need rushing the quarterback here. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. Guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview every game every week and talk football on here all week as well. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for listening, and have a great night.